Hi, it's Kobe here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the squash and stretch deformer. And just like any other deformer, to create it, you come to create deformer, and you can see in here squash and stretch. So I'm going, I'll go ahead and create a new scene. Now create a normal cube. Increase the segment to ten by ten by ten. Then I'll, I'll go ahead, come in here where this deformer um, menu is, and I'll choose the squash and stretch. I'll make it a child of the cube. Hold on. I'll do first of all. I'll make the cube. I'll bring the cube a bit up. So I'll move the cube 100 centimeters up so that the base of the cube will be right on the floor. Now I'll make it the squash and stretch a child of the cube. And now you can see when you come to select the squash and stretch, we have top, center, and bottom. So you have to align this bottom, center, and top with the object that you want to um, squash and stretch so you have to define it so let me actually change the view so I come to front view so that we see everything so I'll to bring I have to bring the bottom of the squash and stretch at the bottom or the base of the cube and because I've moved the cube you know it doesn't align so we will define we'll move it up to so we get to the bottom, then the top, we move it, we increase the top so that it also moves to the right on top of the top of the cube. And we leave the center as it is, you know, defining the top and bottom will actually help us. So now if I come back to the uh, perspective view and what we will use to scratch and stretch is the factor here. So if I should increase the factor, you can see it's stretching and if i should reduce it you can see it's squashing if you don't like where the middle is we can actually now use the center to adjust where we want it to be our center but the zero is fine so all we have to do is now we keyframe wherever we want to so that's basically the how to use the squash and straight deformer you can actually expand, for instance, the, the, the bulge. You can see it's bulging the cube. You can expand it, make it a bit more and everything. And I you can play around with the smoothness, how it, it, like, it, it curves and everything, all that. So these are normal, basic um, things that you can play to get the kind of look when the scratches or stretches. That's it. So that's basically how the scratch and stretch deformer. So to show you an example of what I did, so here I have a normal cube, right? Which I've admitted it's moving up and rotate, comes down. That's all it does. And it doesn't feel alive, it doesn't feel interesting. But I added this crash and stretch deformer and with a bit of keyframing. Now you can see, you no, know, it's anticipates, see it's moving down, it jumps, rotate, and when it comes like it bounces down. So basically that's what the scratch and stretch deformer does. And all I, I did was I, I animated. So before the cube animated, before the cube, cube moves up, I did like a bit of anticipation. So you can see like the cube going down to give it a bit of momentum to push up. And when it stretches up, it rotates, it rotates. And when it gets down, you know, it absorbs the, like, the bounce in it and now come back to a default shape. So basically, that's how the scratch and stretch deformer works. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.